Thank you for joining me for this weekly devotional. I'm Pastor Brian Pastor here at Kailu United Methodist Church. I'm so excited about continuing our Enough series uh, this coming Sunday, but more than that, I'm excited about relaunching our Sunday school ministry. Uh, this past year has just been a whirlwind, as you all know, but ha- something about having our keiki in our sanctuary, worshiping with us at the beginning of worship, and then going and joining their friends for Sunday school uh, down in Holman Hall, and, and seeing them run around afterwards just gives... Uh, our space, life, and energy when we gather. And so we know that everyone's at a different spectrum of where your comfortability is at, but we are are committed to a safe engagement opportunity for all people and an opportunity to continue to worship. And so Keiki will be uh, socially distanced uh, when they're inside and when they're doing the, and invited to wear masks at that time. And then we'll also give them opportunity to go out and play on the playground and, and, you know, be kids and be outside in the beauty of God's creation, specifically the beauty of our campus that we have here at Kailua United Methodist Church. I've been spending a lot of time and energy thinking about next year. Uh, we're in the middle of our administrative time, and uh, we have our uh, big charge conference coming up on November 16th. That's a fancy Methodist lingo for our annual meeting where we go over some administrative uh, responsibilities of our church council, staff parish relations committee, finance committee, trustees, and when we make decisions about who will be our leaders for next year, and we begin to uh, celebrate what we've done in the past as well. That's going to be uh, Tuesday, November 16th at 7 p.m. And all people are invited to come to that charge conference. It's going to be virtually held. Our district superintendent has requested it to be that. But on top of that, I've been also preparing our stewardship letters for uh, next year as we invite you to prayerfully uh, commit the ways in which you're going to give to our community next year. And that's for a different space than this devotional, but what's giving me hope is to think about when I was first coming over to the CalPAC annual conference. Um, There was a lot of, that's the region of the United Methodist Church that we find ourselves in, and there's a lot of people within the Methodist Church that, you know, know, say all sorts of doom-gloom things and different stuff, and I remember, you know, in every region of the United States was, you know, is kind of dealing with, you know, aging membership and all this different stuff, but I remember sitting down with the district superintendent of, at that time, the South District, um, which is San Diego and Orange County area, and he described to me the, the image of where he felt like ministry was at, at least within our region of the Methodist Church. And he said, I feel like, you know, there's been all sorts of chaos within the church, within, you know, people leaving the denominations or different stuff that's happening. And what we're seeing now, he said, are, are the sprouts of the new life that, that God has in store for us in the future. And I just looked around at some of the ministries that he was talking about, and his description, though, just stuck with me. Like, that things have been lost in the chaos and rubble, and the sprouts of new life are coming. Friends, that is more true for our situation than ever. The past year has been crazy, year and a half. The pandemic, it's been wild. And, you know, so much has been kind of displaced and changed in our everyday lives and especially in our faith life together. But I believe his words are true for us. That out of the chaos, the sprouts of new life brought by the Holy Spirit are beginning to show life. I mean, I'm doing a daily, a weekly devotional virtually. We're able to worship locally and globally, and we're able to think about the opportunities that we have to serve with more intentionality. We've been able to renovate some of our space. You're here in the front with me of the sanctuary, and and it just looks open and inviting and ready for us to use it in ministry. And so I'm excited about our future together. I want you to pray together, that we might pray, what do you have in store for us, God? Because we as a community have learned to live with the principle of enough as a community, right? You know, we've been able to live with less and still retain some community. I know it's been painful, it's been difficult, but now, having lived with enough, we can look forward to a season of abundance together. Because God isn't just about limiting resources, limiting us. God is about giving us a life more fully lived. 
but it doesn't always come through the, the taking of more. Sometimes it comes with learning to live with enough. And so that's my prayer as I look forward is a prayer of seeing new life and sparks and opportunities and for us to begin to pray, God, now that we've lived with enough, how might we grow in the future together? What new signs of growth do you have for Kailua United Methodist Church? What new signs of growth do you have for me in my personal faith journey? Because friends, God has newness of life in store for us all. Whether you've been in the church for 50 years or five days, God wants to transform our hearts, our minds, our souls. So as we give to God of our very selves, God takes it and changes us. And I'm looking forward to Sunday and being with you and having our cakey with us. And I know that we're going to be easing back into it. But either way, I invite you to uh, be with us on Sunday in person and especially in person and online at 9.30 a.m. Until then, I invite you to pray with me as we close. God, I thank you that you are God. That in the midst of all of the chaos of the pandemic, we see new life sprouting. And we trust that that newness of life is the work of the Holy Spirit prompting us, readying us for a season of growth as we move into more opportunities to gather in person and so that signs of life of like Sunday school starting up and looking on to Christmas and looking into the new year and even already starting to think about vacation Bible school and our uh, MYF ministry with our Kapuna and just, I'm excited about what's ahead. Pray that you would be with us step by step. Most importantly, that you would guide us step by step because we look to you to be our shepherd, to be our guide. And it's in your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I look forward to seeing you. I hope you have a great week. Until then, until Sunday morning, aloha.